All right, hello everyone. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to make a simple XP system using Discord Bot Studio. So before we get into DBS to show you how it's done, um, I'm gonna show you what this system can do. So essentially what this does is it gives a user one XP every time they send a message in the server. And then it allows users to see how much XP they have. And it also allows admins to set uh, or rather give users XP. So I'll just show you how this works. Um, so if I do XP, um, my internet's rather slow today, but you'll see that, um, yep, I have 92 XP. And then if I send a few more messages, and then I ask what my XP is after that, um, if we wait on the internet again, <laughs> So now we have 96 XP, and that's simply because we sent four messages. Um, so we got one XP for each of those. And then the other command is um, set XP. So the syntax I use for this is, or it's actually give XP rather. So I call the command give XP, and then I tag the person I want to give it to, and then the amount I want to give. So if I do this, I should be giving myself 10 XP. And then I get a little success message that I've given myself that much XP. Um, so now we can pop over to DBS. So now we're in DBS and we can see how the system actually works. So right now I'm on the event screen and you can see I only have one response connected. Uh, I've connected this node to the any message event. And this node is an edit user data node. So basically what we're gonna be doing with this one is giving the user one XP for every message they send in the server. Um, so you can see the user is set for, this wants an ID. So if we do insert variables and we go under your variables, there are actually different ones that have been populated automatically for the various events. Um, so this variable message user is the one that corresponds to the person who sent uh, the message for the any message event. So I just took the ID from that. And then the data field, I called it XP. Um, you can name it something different if you want, but I think that's easy. And then for the operation, we're gonna be adding one to this XP field. Now on the commands page, um, I can show you the two commands that I created. So the first one is very simple, um, the XP command. First node here is just a get user data node and that's in the user data category for when you add a response. So I'm gonna show you add a response, user data, get user data. And what this node does is stores um, a user data field into a variable. So the user we wanna get it from is the command author. And again, um, this is a default variable. So under message variables, command author, and then I just took the ID. Again, we're working with the data field called XP, so that's the one we're going to be getting. And then I chose to call the variable user XP. Uh, you can call that anything you want, just uh, keep, keep note of that. So then once we have stored their uh, XP amount in a variable, we can show that with a message. Here, the channel we want to send the message to is the same channel that they sent the command in. Again, this is a default variable, command channel, and then I took the ID. And then I just said, you have blank XP. So for this value, um, under your variables, user XP, this is the variable that got created from that get uh, user data node. So this is the variable that's gonna hold the amount of their XP. So that will insert the number there. Uh, and then the next command is a little more involved. You don't really need to have this if you don't want. Um, and alternatively, you can add more commands as well. Uh, but this is the give XP node. Uh, the first thing I do is check if the user who called this command is an admin. So you can see how this works. This is a check user permissions node. I'm checking if the command author has admin perms. If they don't, you can see I send an error message. I just say only admins can use this command. Otherwise, if the person who sent the command is an admin, then I start the process of giving the XP. So the first thing we need to do is get the user that they mentioned. So this is a git mention user node. 
and then we're going to save that user into a variable. I called that XP user. After that, we're going to get the XP amount. So if you'll remember, I used the command get XP, tag myself, and then 10. So 10 is the XP amount. So that's the second parameter. That is the second word following the command. Um, I just kept it as a temporary variable. It's obviously a number. And then give it a variable name, which I call XP amount. Then next down the line, we're going to be actually using an edit user data node to edit the XP field. Um, so XP user, this is the mentioned user that I just showed you how to store. Um, so this is here, and then I took the ID. And then the data field here is also XP, and we're just appending that plus by the XP amount variable. And again, this will be under your variables. Finally, uh, this is also optional, but I just decided to send a success message. So I said gave, and then this will tag the user, and then this will show the amount of the XP, and then XP. So in Discord, this looked like gave stin 10 XP. So that's correct. Um, and then for just as an example, if you want to tag somebody using a variable, um, you just go to a user type variable, and then insert and mention this user and it'll automatically populate the syntax for um, like tagging or adding that user. So that's basically it for this tutorial. Uh, let me know in the comments what other tutorials you wanna see in the future.